Substation plays a very important role in our power system. They play a really important part in generation, transmission and distribution of electricity. And hence, if you are an electrical engineer, you should know about substation. That is a must to know thing. And in this video, you will understand what is substation and what are the different purposes of the substation. So to get the details, you need to watch the video. So let's start with what is substation. Now we know that power is generated in power station which is far far away from its ultimate end user. Right? There are multiple reasons for that. For example, uh, and the major one is of course pollution. It causes a lot of pollution. Of course the traditional one like thermal power plant, they create a lot of pollution. So it has to be away from the end user, end user. It has to be away from the city, away from the village. And also it, it, it should be near to the fuel source like coal. If there is a coal mine, then they will try to build substation, uh, sorry, power station near to that coal mine, right? So that is the reason why uh, power stations are very, very away from the ultimate end user. But our aim is to provide power to the end customer, right? That's why we are generating power. So the power has to go from two different stages. One is transmission and another one is distribution. Now, as we know, during the transmission phase, we transmit power at a very high voltage, right? Why? Because one big reason for that is losses. When we transmit power at high voltage, very high voltage, uh, the losses which is occurring is reduced. And that is the reason why power is always transmitted, uh, transmitted on a very high voltage. But this high voltage power, we cannot give directly to the end customer, directly to the customer, right? So what we need to do, we need to lower that voltage so that the end user can use it. And that's when the distribution phase comes into picture. What we are doing in distribution, we are lowering the KV level of the power that is coming from the transmission phase. We will lower it to let's say 11 KV or even 400 KV, 230 KV, 230 volts and then giving it to the end customer. So this is transmission and distribution phase. And if you see it during this phase, we have to lower the power or uh, step it down, step it up and step it down, right? And to, uh, to do that, we need to have substations, right? Understood? So if we have to, you know, define substation in a proper language, then we could say substation are vital part of electrical generation, transmission and distribution system in which voltage is transformed from high to low value or low to high value to transmit and distribute the power. Simple. As I said, it is the vital part of all the three phases, generation, transmission and distribution. And the substations are used to transmit the power from high to low value or low to high value, right? These are, this is not only the function, there are multiple function as well for substation. Clear? Now, when the substations were first installed, they were considered to be associated with a single generating station and hence the name substations was first used. So sub can also be referred as single. So in the past or in the beginning where uh, the concept was developed, the substations were associated with only single power plant. But now, now the system has evolved. Uh, substation is not only handling power coming from a single substation but from the multiple stations and that's the reason why it is a very vital part of the power system right so this is what we called as substation and in power network substation can be considered to be nodes which enables us the connection between transmission and distribution lines and the safe connection and disconnection of one line to another so now this is what substation is. Now we will see uh, the different purposes of substation. So the first and the most important purpose is voltage change, right? We have to transform in during transmission phase, we have to transform voltage at a very high level. And when it comes to distribution phase, we have to step it down. So that purpose is satisfied by using substation. So that is one. Second is, of course, switching. We have to, there are multiple times when we need to switch on the supply or switch it off. 
and that can be done using substation third one is protection of course when they, whenever there is a fault we have circuit breakers installed in substation which operates and protect the circuit and the complete power system so that protection and it is very very important purpose of a substation then of course the fault detection so in case there is a fault on system there are relays provided in the substation which detects that fault gives signal to circuit breaker and then circuit breaker operates thereby protecting our system now let's say there are no substation in power system we are just generating power and giving it to the uh, end user and if there is a fault on the system it will it will be a disaster because there is no protection system there is no fault detection system and it can cause a loss of life also money also and everything because the hospitals uh, if you see uh, if there is no power there won't be any hospitals working right so fault detection is one of the important purpose of substation then of course the reliability so let's say if the, there are multiple bus bus bars are there and you have to carry out pro, uh, maintenance on a one bus bar then using substation you can switch it off that bus bar uh, still continue to give uh, power to the end customer and that's why the substation scheme or whatever we say bus bar arrangement is important now what is bus bar arrangement what are the different types of bus bars bus bar arrangement that we will see in live class 2 that is happening tomorrow so these are the main purposes of a substation now of course you can uh, give some more purposes but if you see on a broader level these are the main purposes so that's all for this video guys i hope you found the video helpful if you like the video do click on the like button and share the video with your friends and also i have launched the, my own app wherein the easy to understand courses related to electrical engineering are waiting for you so definitely download the app and check out the different courses available in that app and yes if you haven't subscribed to my channel do click on that subscribe button so that you get notified every time i upload such easy to understand video thanks for watching keep watching keep learning